That was quick. Good one. Oh my god. Oh my god. That might be 10. On today's fishing mission, we got uh, Lucky and AP Bassin gonna be joining us on probably one of my favorite lakes that uh, I ever fished. This is like is the place where I film like my best fishing day ever. Uh, yesterday, Peric and I fished out here, but we didn't film. We caught probably 25 pounds of fish. We got two six pounders, a couple of fours. It was absolutely legendary. We didn't film because I forgot my GoPro and Peric's camera was also acting up too. So it just was kind of a mess, but we've decided to come back out here to see if we can replicate that same nibble, that same bite. I haven't fished this lake in, in quite some time other than yesterday, we've just been heavy on that Amistad West Texas grind. By the way, if you guys haven't seen that series yet that Alex edited, uh, check the link down below. It's a little three-part mini series. It's absolutely insane. It's probably one of my favorite videos that we've ever filmed. But uh, yeah, man, weather's looking good. It's gonna get windy later on in the day, but hopefully we can find some fish and crank them. So stick with us, stay tuned, and let's get some fish. Whee! Windy. Dude, this this thing literally wrapped, like tied a knot around it. It's a snag. This is, yeah, I got it. Don't worry, I got it. No, no, that's your only A ring. Stop. I found the only brush pile on the dam. Hey. Got him. Got him. That's what's going off over there. You ever have it to where like it says it's recording like 30 minutes here? Oh no, I have them. I have them. <laughs> nice. There we go. First fish of the day. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's what we come out here for. Oh my God. Peric and I work in this windy dam right now. It's like not even nine and the wind is just howling. Throwing the recon up on the rocks and this is not what we're after, but it's a fish. First one of many, hopefully. See you little gay. Bye bye. This is nice. Beans, this is them. This is it. And here we have the part of the lake that you want to fish. Peric and I just ran train, or I guess the lake ran train on, on Peric and I. No, 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 the Mercury outboard ran train on that. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't have got there without my Merc. Yeah, we started off at the dam. Peric picked off one fish. I picked off a fish the size of my pinky toenail. But yeah, this is a calm side of the lake. Or it's not really a calm side of the lake. There's just no wind over here because of all these trees are blocking it. But Yesterday, Peric and I caught some pretty damn big fish in this spot, and we're thinking that maybe a few more moved up. Didn't get that cold last night, so. Oh yeah, it's only it's still 71 up here. Yeah. Yeah. Should be able to find them. We're just looking for some fish and brush. Real that reel I, sounds good. Real glad I spooled this reel up last night. <laughs> All right, this is what we're gonna throw. We're gonna start off this bank by throwing a half ounce gridiron jig. This is like our football head style jig, but it also stands up really well with that head. It just like sits perfectly and it pushes those cracking claws up in the fish's face and they just can't resist it. What are you thinking? You like this? I like the I like the lack of wind over here. That's a that's very spirit line. This is nice. Let's see if we can pump pump a few. This is just a big lead in bank to a creek. There's a video of a guy fishing this bank like April when the water was real low, and we must have caught like 30 pounds of fish using like a little brush hog. That was quick. Good one. Oh my god. 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 Oh my gosh. Bring him over here. 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 Bring him. Bring him to Poppy. That's like a giant fish. That might be 10. That might be 10. I don't know. That might be 10. Holy. Let's go. No. Dude, I don't know. This my might, biggest bass of the year. This might be your biggest bass ever. That's my PB. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Hold her up. Yep. Yep. Let's get it! Yep. Well, I just caught my biggest bass ever. Like ever. My baby. There she goes, dude. Baby. She jumped the net twice. Yeah. That was oh, yeah. that was scary. That was very frightening. I just can't even talk here for this way. Good one, good one, dude. Yeah. Big, 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 big. Get the net. Get the net. Holy. Get the net. Um, I mean, 
this is this is just ridiculous. This is getting ridiculous. This is getting ridiculous. This is getting ridiculous, dude. Parrot just got his biggest bass ever, and then right afterwards, I caught this behemoth. I got a FaceTime Rackley right now. Who is this? Is this Rackley? No. What? <laughs> he must have the wrong number. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I thought this was my friend Rackley. I, here's my fish, though. I caught a fish. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. We're about to weigh it, but it's a good bass. Cool. <laughs> cool. Anyway, it's nice. It's nice talking with you. Have a great day. All right. <laughs> All right. Bye sorry. Bye. That wasn't Rackley. <laughs> Choked it. Update. No. Update. No. Update. Gone, son. <laughs> Thirty-five pounds a day. If we keep this up. We're out here on a big fish mission, apparently. Peric just caught his biggest bass ever. I'm not gonna tell you how big it is. I'm not gonna show you too much of the clip, but what I will show you guys is me netting that fish because it was absolute chaos. Uh, you guys have to watch this video to check it out. But just right after he caught his big bass, I donked this one right here. I think it's probably close to seven. I don't know. Just an absolute behemoth. Right here throwing the gridiron jig. And we're thinking these fish are still spawning, like just a big late wave has come through and they're just crunching. I'm gonna put this guy on the scale real quick. Look at your rod up there. What? Oh my God, your rod's going in the water. Okay, oh, hang on. <laughs> there you go. I'm gonna go it's probably close to seven. Yeah, seven, one. Seven pound, one ounce bass. That's our second fish of the day and it is a seven pound one ounce LMB. All right, gonna put our big Bertha back. This is big Bertha number two. Let's see if we can get five big Berthas. They're just swim off. What a unit. Dude, we had a really good day yesterday and I'm pissed that we didn't film, but it seems like today could be better. Put her there. Let's go crush another one. <laughs> Same scenario though, like off the bank. Yeah. Two taps. Well, this is fun. This is really fun. Second fish of the day. Nice little bass. This is probably the male that was on the, the bed, if they are in fact bedding. Nice little two pounder, probably. Here you go, Bubby. See you later. You. Oh no. I just retired. That was a enormous fish. Yep. You had him on for a second. Yep, I had him on for a second. There we go. Good one, baby. Oh, yeah. Yep, get the net, get the net, get the net, get the net. Oh my gosh. Came off a tree and he just hammered it. Which side? Which side? This side, left side. Left side. Yeah, yeah there we go more meat in the box let's go buddy on the zinger i needed that it's not a humongous fish but that's gonna help us probably close to five spinner bait okay that's, that's interesting i like this too shallow look at all, all there's a ton i was i noticed there's a bunch of brush in the water and it's a little bit easier to cover water with a spinner bait wow that's awesome we're having a absolute legendary day out here you guys uh, i'll admit oh god look how he's barely hooked i'll admit i was a bit down to the dumps after my last <laughs> mess up it's just scary to know that there's giant fish in here and uh yeah and break off but i bet this one goes five at least let's see what we got here one for the zinger they're kind of like in this spawn mode i'm gonna call it five that's a good fish that is a good fish on the spinner bug there we go another bohemoth that's no, i did look at that beauty oh my gosh hell yeah i'm not gonna tell you how big Perrick says we got a big one we got a seven one and a five. Not too bad. <laughs> Not too bad. I can't, I literally felt it go over a piece of brush and went boom, like hammered it. Yeah. So this is cool. We're, we're really trying to figure out this lake and piece it together. Um, a lot of the lakes I've fished in, in, in Texas have just been post spawn. So it's hard to, it's hard to believe these fish are still spawning, but that one could have been toast. That one could have been toast, yeah. But still, it's like they're shallow. Usually, this time of year, you catch them on points, deep ledges, drop offs. They're in that deep post spawn mode, but Kirk and I are figuring out a very nice shallow bite. 
There seems to be a lot of big bass. Yeah, well, there's a row of bushes right there. This is what that fish ate. Zinger with the saucy swimmer on the back. Just kills him. Tons of bait back here. Oh my God. This fish just came up and ate a shad. Big one too. Oh my God. Big bass came up and just slaughtered a shad. That was so sick. Yep, get the nut. It's not giant, it's a good one. I got him, it's fine. Right, he ended up here. Oh, that's so sick. I literally watched this fish come up and eat a shad. I threw in there and he ate the zinger. That was unreal. Probably about a, I don't know, close to four pounder. Put him on the scale. The zinger's doing good. Okay, let's get a weight on this Jimmy. This will be our fifth fish of the day. Our limit. Oh yeah, 313, a few ounces shy of four. Gorgeous bass. Oh, I love when they're eating the zinger like that. That's epic. That is epic. See you later, dude. I feel we're gonna lean back on one in this spot. It just be looking too good. The back of my legs, oh mm, my yeah. God. Like everything about me. Oh my God. Oh, look at that. Oh, I just got hit. Got him, oh my God. got him, got him, got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Got him. Get him. Whoa, what'd I say? We were going, I said I was going to lean back on one. Guess what? I lent back on one. What's the past tense of lean? Lent. I lent back on him. I said, girl, get in the boat. That thing's huge. How big is that? She's not long, but she is hefty. Look at the tail. This is, this is so crazy, you guys. In Texas, I'd say 90% of the lakes we've been fishing have been post spawn, post spawn, post spawn. But since we've got this May moon, they, uh, They've decided to find a little window to move up and do their last minute uh, booty scoot. Right it's right here. Oh man, they're right, they're up here booty scooting in the shallows still. Hey, this is your spot, by the way. Yeah, I, I, just want, I was just about to say that. I just want to know whose spot was this. This is Al's. Can you go, can you record with my camera? All right, we're gonna let this guy chill in the box for a bit as we get the camera gear situated. Well, golly gang, I don't think get any better than this, but we got another Bertha. It is not a very long fish, but just loaded full of eggs. We're gonna put it on the scale. I bet she goes mid sevens. <laughs> Sounds ridiculous saying <laughs> mid sevens. Like, this is ridiculous, man. Oh, she's not that big. She's just not long. I'm, I'm an idiot. She's. She got me six. Uh, yeah, she's six. Six, eight. Give me another scale. Just curious. I'm just curious. This, this guy's just heavy, he's dude. He's in denial. He's I in am in denial. How big is the six? I'm gonna cut a lot of six and a half this season. That thing just don't look six and a half. Is that what it says? Six. It's eight. a six. It's bouncing between six ten and six fourteen. It's just bouncing. Oh, I bet. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I like that other scale better. We're <laughs> gonna call it six ten. Six ten. Six pounds, ten ounces. That's a stud fish, though. My golly. Just take a gander at these fish. They're so big and bodacious and beautiful. These fish remind me of the ones that we catch in Mexico. And it's just weird. They're so tall and they're so fat and they're so damn healthy. It's one of the reasons why I love fishing here. We're gonna put this guy back in the shallows right now. What a gorgeous fish. Oh my gosh, what a unit. What a freaking unit. Another six pounder for the books, boys. Big old log head. <laughs> put it there, dude. I think we broke 30 pounds for our best five. I'm gonna do some math. Okay, yeah, do some math. Yesterday was a good day, today's even better. Today's even better. I didn't think it could get better, but it just got better. Okay, I'm tying up a new jigger, or I'm not tying up a new jigger, I'm just retying after that last six pounder. Perrick's doing the math right now on how big our best five is. I think we bust over 30, but I don't know, maybe we, I could be wrong. Oh yeah, we're over 30. We have 32 pounds, three ounces. Wow, that might have beaten my biggest bag out of here. Two pounds. So with our, with our best five right now, we have 32 pounds of bass. Yeah. That's insane. This is the second time this year we've bro I've broken 30 pounds. Good one. Good one, net. Oh yeah, another nice one. Another nice one. Bring it right here. Just pull him, just pull him. Just pull him. I'm hung up. That's a good one, that'll upgrade. That'll upgrade. Five seven, pair just donked to five seven, which scoots our four out of the bag limit. Just a big one. 
I just put a Kraken crawl in. Oh, you're throwing a Kraken crawl? I was throwing a Bandito bug all day. Ooh. I'm not saying that that really matters. Oh, well, you never know. It's just kind of weird. Got him. Good. Good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Another giant. Another absolute giant. Keep him out of that motor. Another absolute giant. Real. Got him. Oh, baby. There we go, guys. That'll go over six. <laughs> Another pig. Wow. How big? Six pounds flat. Six flat? Oh my god. Legendary. Two six pounders off this bank. We have 34 pounds, 10 ounces. Oh my god. We are so close. 35. <laughs> so close to 35. Let me sit you guys down right here. Holy moly, zoom out of that greasy look. Okay, before we close out today's video, I wanna share with you guys how we got it done today. There's two baits, one specifically that got the whole bag tied together. Usually you don't have a day where like one bait works, but today it was very apparent that one lure was putting away. To kind of set the scene and the scenario, we are three days away from pretty much the last spring full moon. Apparently, a lot of these fish uh, on the main lake have not spawned yet. So Peric and I were fishing these huge lead-in banks where it would go from like seven to 20 feet and like fish these flats. It'd be like seven foot, seven foot, then they get up to three and then two and then like really shallow. So we're fishing between that like eight to four foot range. And that's where we got most of our bites. Even though most of the fish in the back of creeks are spawning out, these main lake fish are just not using the opportunity with this warm water to dump their eggs and then bounce for the post spawn scene. Here is the lure that we caught them on today. Just take a gander at that beauty. Oh, that right there is a half ounce Guggen Squad gridiron jig. The reason why this jig, in my opinion, is a little bit better. So whenever this jig hits the bottom in the fish's zone, the head keeps the claws up in front of the fish's face. And we're using, on the back of these jigs, just a regular size crack and craw. Uh, in a green pumpkin color. So just keeping it very simple, natural colors. The water was not super dirty, but I wouldn't say it was necessarily clean. But natural is always a good way to go this time of year. Uh, Paraguay is in the three eighths. I was in half. I don't think it matters too much. The nice thing about the half is it just sinks faster. And it was super windy today and just having a heavier jig kind of helps with feel on the bottom and, and the bites. The rod I was using was a seven nine, a bit overkill, but not bad on longer casts. When you're going for fish that are seven pounds plus, you definitely want a powerful rod. We were using 20 pound test, which is a little bit lighter than I like. I like using 22 or 25 on enormous fish, but we weren't really flipping or pitching to heavy cover today. And the reel was just like a 7.1 to one gear ratio uh, casting reel. Just basically working that jig all throughout the steep bank where those fish would be moving up and doing the spawn. Uh, I think a lot of these fish were spawning in anywhere between seven and like three feet of water. Like we got a few six pounders like real shell, but those big bites came like pretty deep. and. Big fish, they spawn deep. It's just a comfortable spot for them to do it and they're not gonna get messed with. But anyway, that's my little knowledge tip for you guys. I hope you found that interesting. Oh, I guess the other thing I forgot to mention is the Zinger also caught some fish today. Um, it didn't really piece together the pattern. I caught two decent ones on the Zinger, but that's always a good bait to have on the side with the jig to throw up shallow and look for fish that are kind of in that post-spawn mode. But we were trying to get the big berthas and the big berthas were full of eggs. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys sincerely enjoyed. Be sure to check out Peric's channel if you haven't already done so. Subscribe, give this video a like, and uh, let's get ready for yet another banger. We might head out tomorrow and uh, try to make it happen again, but we'll see. Anyway, peace and out, sign out. Thanks to the view, and as always, folks, keep fishing. Never stop.